All right, guys, so we're gonna be walking through Pure Muscle and Fitness. Um, a little bit of background about Pure Muscle and Fitness. A lot of people might be wondering why did we open this gym? What was the goal? Um, with anything we do, whether it's the HG Muscle, whether it's the gym, we're always looking to do something different. We're always, you know, we're about quality. We're about creating something, an environment, a community um, that lots of people can enjoy. Um, you know, I felt like really passionate about equipment, um, about gyms, and there's really nowhere in the area in Canada, like when I was coming up in bodybuilding, I constantly had to go to different gyms for leg day, for chest day, um, because you know, every gym had different equipment. So the idea with Pure Muscle Fitness was to try and create something that was so amazing and just had so much variety under one roof. Um, I guess you could say like the inspiration was probably like, you know, Kuwait Oxygen Gym. When you look at that gym, you look at all the brands, all the variety it has, it was amazing. And then like the Dragon Slayer when I went and visited there, or MI40, Ben's Gym in Tampa. So all these gyms were sort of the inspiration. So we wanted to create something that was truly unique and kind of like has the best variety and the best selection of equipment. Um, and, you know, I think we accomplished that. I think like when you go throughout the gym and you see how many different pieces we have and variations, um, we're always looking to improve it. I think we definitely are like, you know, one of the more elite gyms when it comes to bodybuilding. Obviously there's certain gyms out there that have crazy amenities, bathrooms, and all this crazy stuff, pools and basketball courts. But when it comes to straight equipment, we want us to be able to offer the best selection um, within the gym. So I'm gonna take you guys through and show you what we got. This is our front entrance. The front entrance is not complete yet, but basically this area here is gonna be like a full lounge area with couches, seats, people can hang out. You know, when we have events, we'll be watching TV. Right now we got Jay Cutler on there. Um, but yeah, the idea is like, you know, if the Mr. Olympia's on, there's shows on, whatever, even UFC, we can sort of host events, have the community here hanging out, it's cool. And then we'll also have like some cool like hangers and shit with all the different merchandise and products and stuff. So that's gonna be really cool. And then over here, down that hallway there actually, we have like just some tan some tanning. Um, Jordan Shallow's office is at the very back. He's got three rooms back there where he does all his work. We have a therapy room down there too. Um, and then this is our front entrance. So when you walk in, we are just actually installing the, uh, the shake bar. So that whole shake bar there, they just started yesterday. It's all stainless steel. It's gonna be really cool. There's gonna be dispensers for like toppings and stuff. So we do the Pro HD. Um, we have like a really, really low, uh, the mix that we have is a patented mix. It's very low sugar. It's a prebiotic base. And then you can sort of add whatever you want to it. We'll have all the toppings and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, this design is pretty cool. We went with the black metal, the walnuts throughout, which kind of matches the theme and the vibe of this side of the gym. Um, and again, over in this area, we'll probably uh, continue with some tables, some tabletops where people can hang out, eat, we also got all the Kai Kai cookies. Well, that's pretty cool. I actually got a heavy D cookie. This one here, she made. This is my recipe. It's amazing. What's in it? Oh man, this is a, it's a everything oatmeal base. It's got coconut shavings in it. It's got uh, Biscoff in it. It's got uh, pecans in it. It's got white chocolate in it. So it's incredible. It's awesome. You guys can check out Kai Kai cookies. Um, and we sell them here at the gym. You walk in, all the bathrooms and stuff like that are back there. We'll go back there afterwards. But I want to take you guys through the equipment. I guess we'll start with the leg equipment. So these are all leg presses. Um, we have over 20 different leg presses in the gym. On this side here, there's maybe like maybe eight or nine or ten. So this is a Cybex 45 degree. It's a great piece. Atlanta's pivot press. Um, that's really great. It's very similar to the Cybex squat press. This is Atlantis 45 degree. Uh, we have the hammer strength 45 degree and again all these leg presses feel different so it's like you know you might ask 10 different people which one's your favorite you might get 10 different answers because depending on the mechanics and stuff you know you'll fit everyone differently i really like the nebula leg press i believe this is a little less than a 45 degree it's probably like a 40 or a 35 degree um, this is the leg press you guys might notice or seen ronnie coleman using um, it's like from the 90s um, arsenal took over a lot of their platforms so this is the original and then we got Panada. Panada's stuff is such high quality, highest quality equipment from Italy. That's their 45 degree leg press. This is their pivot leg press, which is amazing. Awesome. So very similar mechanics and style 
to like the Cybex. So you see the Cybex squat press? They're very similar, right? Those two, and the Atlantis pivot press. So that's it for the leg presses on this side. And then against the mirror here, we have over hack squats and pendulums. So this is the Atlantis pendulum squat. This is a really great piece. It's one of my favorite pendulums. I actually think they're coming out with a new one now where the actual platform can be adjusted and have full adjustability for ankle mobility, dorsiflexion. So that's really cool. And this here is, this is a, was designed like many, many, many years ago um, by Randy Coyle. This is a swing squat. And I'm pretty sure the pendulum dog got their inspiration from this. Um, so yeah, this, this piece here is amazing. It, it feels completely different. It's more of like a semi-circle. Um, and if you guys want that, we have a relationship with them and they are building them custom for people. So you can reach out to Pure Muscle Athletics. But yeah, this is a really unique piece. Over here, this is the best vertical leg press on the market. This is the Panada vertical leg press. Um, lots of adjustability on this, which I love. I actually like to do it more for, you know, less pressure on my ankles. Um, it also adjusts here as well. So that's a really, really great piece. Um, anyone that's tried this knows this is the king of vertical leg presses. It's amazing. And all the Panada stuff, like the quality of it, like when you buy this, like it is going to last forever. It's incredible. The attention to detail and the quality that they put into this. Over here, we have the Atlantis. Uh, yeah, I forget what this is called. This is just like a, a squat or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, that's a, that's a great piece. It's not, it's not like, I'm not like a huge fan of it, but a lot of people like like this style. I always prefer using like traditional hack squats. Um, this is Panada's hack squat. It's pretty unique. Um, then we got the original Cybex, which is probably one of the heaviest leg presses. Um, it's not forgiving. It's pretty intense. I've seen like Sean Clarita have this thing loaded up. And when you load this one up, it's heavy. So my favorite are uh, Atlantis' first gen and second gen. So this one here is actually Atlantis' second generation hack squat. Um, they refurbished this for us. Um, pretty much made it like brand new. Uh, I located it, it was used, it was actually a member's here. And uh, he was nice enough to sell it to me, refurbished it. And this is their newest generation hack squat. So as you can see, they've changed, right? It's not on bearings anymore, like over here. They're now on these, these rollers underneath and here, which is a different feel. Some people prefer it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. They're also going to be changing, or, or not changing, but offering another option with adjustability on the foot pad, which is nice because all their first and second gen, you can see, has full adjustability, which I think is like a staple when it comes to hack squats and pendulum squats. And then behind us here, this is the OG. So this is the original Flex Fitness hack squat. So this thing is incredible. It's, it's very heavy. Like this foot platform, I don't even know what this material is. But if you look underneath, it's like bolted on. Look at this. This is original. This is from like the mid 80s. So it's still in great condition. I can't believe this has lasted the test of time. It still has a ton of grip on it. So that's pretty cool. So then over on this side, we've got all of our, our seated uh, leg curls. You know, we got our abductors here. And then we kick it off with a Life Fitness leg curl. It's a very good piece. My favorite, the Flex Fitness first generation hamstring curl. If you guys look back to any like Jay Cutler's videos or Dennis Wolf when they used to train at Gold's Gym Flamingo, all the red equipment, this is the hamstring curl they were using. Amazing piece. Um, this is probably like 30 plus years old and it's still like perfect condition other than some, you know, minor uh, imperfections, some whatever scratches and whatnot, but it is quality. Um, you get the hammer strength select, light curl. This one here is Icarian le uh, light curl. We got one of the older generation Pro Series 1 light fitness light curl. And then we move into some lying ones. We got the Life Fitness. This is Jim Laco's version. Um, Jim Laco is a brand from Sweden. 
that we're distributing at Pure Muscle Athletics. So this is a pretty unique design, the way your body comes over it. Um, it's pretty cool. And then we got some standing. So we have the Hammer Strength MTS, the classic. Um, it's a great piece. And then we also have the plate loaded version of that as well. Uh, for leg extensions, this is one of my favorite leg extensions. The isolateral MTS leg extension. It's really great because you can manipulate where you're putting the tension. Like if you're doing your quads and you know you want to kick out like this, you can target you know this piece of the quad. If you turn your leg out like that, it'll target the inside. So you can sort of manipulate it by you know doing it independently. So that's a really nice piece. We got Jim Lacoe's leg extension. We got the original old school flex fitness leg extension. We got leg extensions for days. Then we got a light fitness leg extension as well. So and then from there, we move on to a little bit of glute equipment. You know, like kick back, glute kick back. We got the reverse hyper extension. You got the panada glute drive. And uh, over here, we end off with, you know, your leg press, your calf equipment, seated, standing. This is actually my favorite calf machine ever created was by Icarian, which they came with a pre core uh, But this one here, it's an angled seated calf raise. Unbelievable. This is like, this is all, this is all I do for my calves. I love this one. Sometimes they do a little standing as well. So over the years, you guys have probably noticed, I love Better Bodies, I love Gasp. You know, I'm sure you guys have seen, I've teamed up with Gasp, um, working with them, which is amazing because it's a company that I've always believed in. I've been wearing it since like 2008. Um, and the cool thing about their brand is like, I was just on a call with them yesterday. I still have sweaters from like 10 years ago that still are like perfectly fine. The quality of the stuff is amazing. So if you guys want to check out any of their stuff, Better Bodies, Gasp, go to their website. If you use Dorian 15, you will save 15% off all your purchases. And they actually have like deal of the day on Gasp. So if you check daily, you'll see that they put certain items on like crazy discounts. So definitely check it out guys, and I appreciate your support. I'm excited about working with them because again, it's something I believe in and I love. Chest equipment is all in this area here and then all along the mirror. Jim Lico chest press. This one's actually very good. A lot of people love this. Very similar to the old Flex Fitness. Um, but in my opinion, it actually has a little bit of a better motion. It allows you to get up and under it, and it kind of pushes down, and it takes your shoulders out of the movement. So that's a really, really good piece. Um, everyone loves it. That's their flat press. You've got their pec deck, which is pretty unique the way it pulls, because it pulls from down under. And one of, their, one of my favorite pieces from them is their pec fly. This is their pec fly. It's really great um, because of the back here, it has, pull, it has adjustability, so you can change the angle um, in the direction of the pull. So you can change it, whether you want to hit more upper chest, more lower chest, mid chest. And I also like the fact that it has this to get your, your knees out of the way. And then across from this one is Arsenal Strength version. I prefer the gym well. I do really like the Arsenal Strength uh, flat chest press. This is actually original um, Nebula design that they continued, that Tom created. And uh, I love that. It's a great, it's a great motion. It takes the shoulders out of it. It's really good. Over here, we got the Icarian Peck Deck. It's one of my favorites. We refurbished it. A lot of this stuff is really hard to find. Whenever it's the older stuff, we refurbish it. it took forever to find this stuff. Um, you pay a fortune for it right now, especially with the way the market is. Over here is a hammer strength select. This over here, this is a Body Masters, Body Masters chest press, which converges in. So it comes in and closes. So that's really cool. We have the flat version and the incline version. Um, these are really hard to find, and Atlantis was nice enough to refurbish them for us, replace everything. They look like they're brand spanking new. Um, this one here is a really, really great piece. It's a combo piece. So if you're, if you're fighting for space and you want to have a two-in-one machine, this is an amazing machine because it's a decline press from Atlantis, um, converging, and it also doubles. So you can lower this all the way down, and then this comes off. Take that out. 
then you got your flat chest press as well. So it's a two in one. So that's a great piece. If anyone's interested in Atlanta, reach out to us. We can set you up with them directly. Um, another one of my favorites is the Prime Flat Press. This is a great one. Uh, I'm sure you guys are familiar with this. You can kind of change the strength curve, whether you're loaded at the top, the middle, or the bottom. So that will change the strength curve and where the tension is on the movement. So that's pretty unique. Um, that was a feature that St Strive created a long time ago, and Prime pretty much took that over. I'm pretty sure they just bought like the patent or whatever from Strive. So they've done a great job. Up over here, this is the M Torture from New Tech um, Pec Fly. This is from Korea. This is a great motion. A lot of you guys have probably seen some of the guys here doing it. But it comes almost up and under. It's a great contraction. Quite loaded. Well, that's a really, really popular piece, and we're actually distributing them as well. We have an, uh, per we're doing purchase orders right now, so we shipped out in like February. So if anyone's interested in that, make sure to reach out to us. Classic, hammer strength, decline. Great piece. This is the incline version of that Body Masters that I was showing you guys over there. So it's great. And then the last two chest pieces, we just got the Selectorized NTS Hammer Strength Press. And this one's actually pretty good by Life Fitness. I actually like it because for a Selectorized machine, it's actually like independent. It's a lateral, so that way it's even. And you know, you can assure both sides of your body are working independently. It's a great contraction. So that is a chest equipment here. We'll move on to some back equipment. Original Flex Fitness refurbished lap pull down, old school, 90s, 80s, the staple, very hard to find. Over here, this is a low row from Life Fitness. Um, it's again, isolateral. It's a, it's a great row, great isolation exercise. This is an older Atlantis piece that they refurbished for me. Um, I like it when I'm performing this one. I actually like to do like more of a high row, focus on upper back. Um, traps, rhomboids, and I like to pull high on it. So that's a great one. I love when they use the Cavalier belts. That was sick. This is a cable row from Atlantis. Pretty cool. Get in there. I like to actually stand on it and just row like this. But it's actually designed. It's actually designed to row like this. And it's really easy to engage your lower lat on this one. So that's a great piece. And then, the king of quality, Panada. This is their new Super Series. So it has more adjustability. So, you know, you can adjust the seat, you can adjust the, the knee pads. Quality of this stuff is next level. Multi-grip handles. This one here is one of the most popular ones. This one's a high row. So they have two versions of this, the super series and the regular series. This one's cool because you can actually create more depth when you're sitting in here. So if I'm sitting here and I'm like, oh, you know what? I want to like create more range so I can back this up, create more depth. So this is great. And then the handles, you can go to neutral position, you can go to underhand position. So you can manipulate the exercise with different handles, which is really, really cool. And then you just got your pre-core standard T-bar row with your Atlantis row. Nothing special there, but still a must in every gym. Um, Panada makes this row. This is really cool. This is their T-bar row. So basically get in here, you find where you're comfortable. And you can actually do isolateral or together. This bar here, if you look, it goes like this and it closes it in. So now when it's closed in, this whole piece works together. And now, if I want to split it, I can split it, and now I can do isolateral pulls. So that's a really great piece. One of the most popular pieces in the gym that we distribute, New Tech M Torture Low Row. You guys have probably seen people using this on our social feeds. But you just load it up, and it's basically like a one-arm dumbbell row. Simple, but very, 
very effective. Very high quality too. Seated row, you know, very similar to the hammer strength row, but I feel like it's a better range of motion. Panada's handles are awesome, the grip on them, the diameter of the handle. So this is a standard piece from them. They've had this for many, many, many years. Jimoko, Jimoko low row. This is a unique piece. Similar to the hammer strength low row, but just another, another brand. Uh, this is the Jim Loco Row Isolateral. I like this one. Uh, what's pretty cool is, again, I love the technology of these bands, the way they feel. First cables, they're very smooth. I actually prefer to stand in this one. So I like to stand upright. It's a great contraction in the lower lat. Another row from Jim Loco. Then we got the Panada circular motion lap pull down. It's really cool. It stretches, it comes around. Super low row is really nice. Um, this is a part of their super series. They got the pedal, the handy, the handle. It's isolateral. And what's cool is the handle is on swivels. So you can kind of pull wherever you want to pull. You want to pull underhand, neutral grip. So very good motion. Then, the Avenger. This thing is old school, 90s, very hard stuff to find. Built like a brick shit house. Avenger was an amazing brand. Uh, next to the Avenger row, what Mark? Next to the Avenger row, we got the old school Cybex pullover. Selectorized, refurbished, repainted. This is the first generation Cybex, Cybex row. It actually hits your lower lats really nice and easy. So that's cool. And then, I don't know, this, this piece of equipment seems to be trending now. A lot of people seem to be putting this in their gyms, trying to find them used, because Nautilus actually stopped making the Explode series about six years ago, which I think was a big mistake, because I think they had some of the best equipment. So this is the Nautilus Explode um, High Row, so that's great. We're just in 2.0 right now. So this is just one side of the gym. So there is more back, chest, leg equipment over there on the other side and we will get over there but first we're going to finish on this side so this side of the gym is all white it's bright there's windows at the top here that you can see all along the top um you got we did walnut around all the mirrors just a different look a different feel i love it, it was my design with the black trim around the mirrors and the walnuts it's really cool but we got power racks here atlantis power racks and that goes into our deadlift platforms. We've got lots of space here for people to do their lifts. It doesn't get too crowded. Um, then we got the Cybex Smith machines, which in my opinion are some of the best Smith machines, although Jim Lacoe's, they just tried. It's very good as well. Cybex Smith machines, all of our Olympic benches. Oh, not so. All of our Olympic benches are on swivels from Atlantis, pivots. So that way it's really easy to lift off of lift the bar off and again we have that with every Olympic bench whether it's flat bench whether it's the shoulder press the military whether it's the incline decline so we got a total of one two three four five six Olympic benches on this side of the gym so no one ever has to wait for equipment um, and then over here we got the Atlantis cable system, whatever you want to call it, multi-jungle, whatever. <laughs> and lots of different options on here. I'll get your single cable pull. And then on the flip side, if you want to do double, you know, your double axle, so you can do each arm independently. And then we customize this, and I put like the horizontal bicep. So people are doing, people are training arms. The arm equipment's over there. So you can then, you know, come here and your curls as well so this is great and we got tons of like special attachments here like uh dynamic sports makes we distribute these we sell them on pure muscle athletics these are amazing technology handles so we have like every different handle mag grips prime grips you know the dynamic sports which is uh spiral strength um even uh tk star it's an old school guy he makes stuff like this so it's a pretty unique handle, TK Star. Been in business since 1977. So that's pretty cool. All of our cardio 
um, on this side all has is a top of line pre core Netflix capabilities, um, Spotify, so that way you can tap into whatever you want. It's all hardwired in, so it's not even Wi Fi, so like the reception is very, very strong. And over here, some shoulder equipment. This was a brand from my carrier, it was called Flight. Flight. And this is their shoulder press. Really unique, we refurbished it. Side lateral from Arsenal Strength, which is the original Icarian design. That's pretty cool. The Atlantis. Lateral raise, very popular. Very unique piece of equipment. Great for the delts. You can also second this and do rear delts here because the seat is on a swivel. So it's very nice. One of the most popular shoulder pieces. Original Nebula design, but Arsenal strength, shoulder press. It's a great one. Minata, shoulder press. And a piece that is not in every gym, but I think should be in every gym, is a Viking press. And Atlantis is isolateral, so independently. And uh, yeah, Viking press is an amazing piece of equipment. Anyone that has shoulder injuries, it's nice because Instead of like getting your arms so far back, you can virtually press in front of you. And that's a much safer position for your shoulders. Over there is the boring, boring selectorized like in this press. <laughs> um, we'll show you guys the arm equipment with some uh, dumbbells and whatnot. So over here is just app stuff. We got the app benches, so you never have to wait. App benches, selectorized app stuff. Um, in the summertime, we open up this big door here, which is really nice. And we got all the arm stuff here. So we'll start over here. Life fitness dip. So this is a great piece. Um, yeah, it's basic dip. I'm sure a lot of you guys have tried this before. But the Atlantis plate loaded dip is actually one of the best plate loaded dips. I'd say between the Atlantis and the Panada, they're both amazing. Love this dip, it's great. You got the MTS hammer strength bicep curl, which is very unique because your arm's up and your arm when it's in that position, the bicep can be uh, fully shortened. So this is a great movement. You know, a lot of people don't train in this range of motion or in that position. So it's pretty unique. Um, this is the seated Atlantis curl. Best seated. Sorry, what did I say? Did I say Atlantis. seated? Yeah, bicep curl. Seated bicep curl. It's great. Great piece. Panada. Creature curl, plate loaded. This piece here is incredible from Panada. Pretty cool if you hit this. Oh, one off the head. And uh, shoots it up. It only shot it up like that, there's no way on. But when you're here, so it's a really great motion. It's a really good stretch in the triceps. And uh, it's a great piece of equipment. This one here, the ultimate forearm machine from Atlantis. It has like four exercises in one. So on this side here, you can do your grip. This closes in. Heavy as fuck. Over here, you can do the whole turning thing that we used to do with a hockey stick and laces and weights on it. <laughs> and this is the external rotation of some sort, which is way too heavy for me to do. And then on this side, fucking who was on this? Frank Jeez. McGrath. Jeez. It's a beast. <laughs> then on this side here, you know, we do our curls. We set that with reverse curls. So this is a great multi-exercise form piece of equipment. And there was the Jim Lafoe curl here, which is my favorite, but we brought it down to the Olympia and we sent it to Juji's. So Juji has that in his gym along with the Jim Lafoe Viking Press. But we have another one coming. But he really liked it, so we let him go hold it. This here is an old school Nautilus chain driven. Um, if you look back to pictures of Dorian, Dorian Yates training biceps, this was the one where he was doing a lot of his training on. Um, it's great, great piece of equipment, very hard to find. Then next to this one, you have the Flex Fitness version. And then you got the pre core at the very end there. So, the pre core one's a great piece. Like the pre core where it was like carrying was very, very high quality. Um, the Icarian series was great. I wish they never discontinued it. I loved it. On this side here, we have both 
straight bars and we have campered bars on the other side over there. So depending on what you're looking for, we have both options. Um, and then when it comes to dumbbells, so for all of our dumbbells, we actually distribute Intech and we have them. So they're great dumbbells. They go up in 2.5 increments. They're solid steel, um, stainless steel. So they'll never, never rust and they have a lifetime warranty on them so they are a little bit more expensive but you know they last a lifetime they look incredible you customize them um, with your logo on them and it's pretty cool because if you look at the logo as you curl it kind of always faces like bentley like the rims so these go all the way up to 150 pounds here um, for benches we have a cross between some hammer strength some life fitness and atlantis so the majority of our benches are all Atlantis. This is a great bench. It's a smaller platform. Uh, but we also have like the Hammer Strength Utility Bench. I prefer these ones because they're on a little bit of an angle. Allows you to get up and over it a little bit. Um, another one of my favorite benches is the Life Fitness one, which is over here right now. I prefer this bench for shoulder presses because it's a lower center of gravity. That when I perform my shoulder presses, I'm nice and low on the ground and with the dumbbells I can just kick them up really easily where some of the benches are a little bit higher it's awkward if I'm like sitting here with dumbbells you know so I just feel like a better center of gravity so I like that bench for certain lifts let's go over to the OG side so guys something else we want to hear from you guys we want to know with HD Muscle what products are we missing? What products don't we have? We want to be a one-stop shop. So we have everything, the highest quality and a very, very good price guaranteed to you guys. Um, so we're always looking to expand our line. Um, something we're thinking about right now is a vegan protein. We've been working on this for months. We almost have the flavoring knocked out. We want this to be something special. Um, so what I want to know, I want to hear from you guys. Do you guys use vegan proteins, any of you? I've been using it a little bit at nighttime. Um, I like the texture. I like the way it digests. Um, it is a good um, substitution for like, you know, the way I sell it. So, yeah, at first I was hesitant on the vegan source, but I was trying it and uh, so far so good. So I'm super excited about that. We're looking at hydration supplements. We're looking at more health products like heart health, stress. Um, so definitely want to hear back from you guys. What would you guys like to see from HD Muscle? So when we opened when we opened, uh, oh my gosh, I can't even remember what year it was because we were dealing with this COVID and dealing with so much, but basically um, opening Pure Muscle and Fitness, we never really had the intention to do this. It's massive, it's 32,000 square feet now. We always just wanted to have a little bit of a private gym. It was supposed to be in our warehouse as well for HD Muscle, but we enjoyed it so much. We had such a good turnout, such a good response from the community that we decided to grow it. So this was where we started. This is the original side, two different looks blacked out in here, completely different. Lighting's different. So, we'll go through some equipment here too. <laughs> Pitland from Spain. Peckfly, plate loaded. That was the original Peckfly that everyone sort of got their inspiration from. These guys were one of the first to do it. Um, I actually came across this Regan was training at Kuwait many, many years ago. And uh, that's where we came across it. We have the Super Series Panada. This is the decline press. Um, this is the incline press from Panada. You know, here, this is a flex leverage. This stuff is amazing. Refurbished, this is the incline press. Very hard to come by. Um, and this is the flat press. Over here, we got selectorized incline Atlantis. Hammer strength, MTS, isolateral. This is actually one of my favorite decline presses. I love this piece, it's a great contraction, great squeeze. Uh, I think it's one of the most underrated chest pieces of equipment. Converging incline press from Atlantis. All of Atlantis' plate loaded converging presses are great. So this is really popular, people love this machine. It's great too, because you can control the depth, right? So like, got here so you create more depth, less depth. And then beside this one is the Prime Incline. Another popular piece like we spoke about over there. You got the three different spots to load your weights. Over there, we got two, we got two more Atlantis chest presses. I try to put the majority of the chest up in front of mirrors. So 
So these here are a decline and an incline. The decline actually I really love. It's a, it's a really, really, really nice motion I'll show you. When you push. So it's a great, great motion. So there's a couple more flat chest pieces over here. I mean like we probably have over 30 something pieces of chest equipment. Um, so we try to line up all the flat ones with the Olympic uh, flat benches. So we got the Atlantis selector eyes. Then we got the Atlantis converging flat chest press, which is great. And I actually love these handles. Because when you use the lower ones, you can actually like, hit decline up and under the pecs. Takes the shoulders out of it. So that's great. Then you got you know your, your standard hammer strength. I think most gyms have one of these. And over here, we got pec decks. We got Atlantis. We got the Hammer Select. And uh, we also have the Prime. So the Prime's really cool because you can change change the strength curve on them. It's our Aaron Golly, IFB Pro training. What's up, Aaron? How's it going? <laughs> He's training with his coach there. Um, so yeah, I mean the Hammer, hammer uh, Strength Select is a really good one. It's one of the first ones I started training on, so I kind of like it just because I've used it for like 10 plus years. And the Atlantis one is always fantastic. I think it's probably one of the, the members' favorite pieces. Our, so we got arm equipment behind this stuff. We got the Flex. What uh, is it called? Bisolator. So Flex Fitness on the Cavalier belts, very old, great shape, prime, plate loaded curl with the Panada dip that I was speaking about earlier. The great thing about this dip is the adjustability. So it can work as one, but again, like a lot of Panada stuff, we do that and now it's working independently with your dips. So they can both sort of equally do as much work. So that's really cool. You got your hammer strength one, and then you got the selectorized one that's really popular with Mike Van Wick is destroying right now these machines. Behind the tricep stuff, you got the Atlantis bicep curl, creature curl. Everyone loves that one. You got horizontal bicep, light fitness, arm curl, prime, selectorized, creature curl. And my favorite, the Panada uh, isolateral curling machine. I love it. The handles here, they're on swivels. So it's really easy to keep your wrists completely straight. Um, it's great tension. I, I love this machine. If you have really long arms, you might find it a little bit awkward, but I love it. Moving to some leg stuff. Over here, both different abductors. Um, then we got Plate loaded prime. We got hammer strength select leg curl. It's a classic. Atlantis is amazing. It's pretty cool because it's just on this swivel here. So it pretty much goes wherever you need it on your ankle function. Pro Series 1 Light Fitness. Atlantis, see the leg curl. I feel like this is the closest one to the original Flex Fitness with the angle they have it on. If you notice. It's almost upwards, the seat's down. Very similar to the angle of the Flex Fitness. So this is my favorite, newest leg curl. The Cybex one's very good too. Mike loves that one. Um, the Atlantis standing leg curl. This is in my opinion is the best one on the market. Love this piece. Um, this is a great, great isolation. Holy smokes, who was on there? So yeah, it's just really easy to get into. And I kind of think of it as like a, a preacher curl for your bicep. So just pushing my knee against this pad hard here. And as you pull up the curl, a really hard contraction. In the so, best standing here to the Then we got leg extensions. Original Cybex plate loaded leg extension here. Beside that, you got the selectorized Cybex leg extension. And then we got Hammer Strength Select leg extension there. Atlantis is leg extension there. 
and the prime plate loaded, which is one of my favorites, right here. Love this piece. Then we move into the leg presses. This is generation two, Atlantis. I just got this a couple weeks ago. Love this one. Pre-core, well, I carry in, which turned into pre-core. That's their leg press. You have the Cybex squat press, newer gen. And uh, on the other side, we have the older gen of that version. And on the other side, we have the new gen 45. On this side, we have the old gen 45 degree. This is the one that Dorian Yates always used. A lot of people love this one. This one here is uh, Elite FTS. It works independently, so it's isolateral. You can do both. Um, Avenger, another Avenger piece, light press. This is a beast. It's pretty cool. Great piece. Vertical leg press. Lantis. Seated leg press. Isolateral. Lantis. Pin select. Leg extension. And then over here, it's just like lots of glute shit. Calf stuff. Um, yeah, different calf stuff from Atlantis and whatnot. Uh, that's a belt squat from Atlantis. Actually, one of my favorite ab crunches from Panada this one such a great motion it's a nice stretch opens up and then to curl in legs come up it's a really great contraction and the price point is pretty good on it too i actually love the old school cybex push for abs too you got the panada hip thrust the atlantis plate loaded hip thrust is really great my favorite is the gluteator this machine this machine here, like chicks, go crazy for it. It's amazing. I mean, guys do too. I do. <laughs> so you want a big, you want a big booty? You got you to get one of these. So this one here, when you're here, your neutral spine, come out, all your glutes here. So this is a really, really great machine. I start every leg workout with this. Um, it's amazing. So that's, uh, and then on this side, we got all the cardio behind us here. We got treadmills, step mills, all face of TVs on this side. Um, and then we go into all of our hack squats, power squats, which I'll show you guys. So Atlantis, power squat, pop. Girls like that one, they do the reverse one on there like this. And I don't do it. Atlantis. I don't even know what they call this. What do they call it? Like a half hack? Does it have a name on it? It's a variation hack squat. I stick to the old school regular hack squats. This is my favorite, favorite hack squat. This is a generation one Atlantis. Nice wide platform, adjustable foot pad. Love the bearings it's on. Just has a badass feel. Love this one. Then we got the Icarian hack squat here this one's great solid the pre-core squat free squat nice. and uh probably the most popular squat version would be the pendulum from rogers athletics that's this one here i can't i can't do any of these squat versions because my herniated disc i need my back to be supported on uh back pad but uh, they're great great pieces we missed we missed uh, two of the arm pieces which is the atlantis overhead extension and incline push down let's go to some uh back stuff shoulder stuff so for shoulders hammer strength mts shoulder press isolateral i love this piece i think it's very underrated it's amazing Plate loaded, converging. Like I said, all of Atlantis's converging presses are incredible. You know, you can adjust the depth. They're great. Multiple handles and grips. It's a great piece. And in my opinion, the best side lateral created right now is the standing Atlantis. And that's this one right here. You can adjust the height to find the perfect, you know, spot for you as you want your shoulders to be aligned with the, with the pivots. So that's great. Um, you got the Panada side lateral. Another variation from Hammer Strength. 
And then we end the shoulder stuff off with uh, the flex fitness press. The leverage. We'll go into some back stuff now. So the back stuff starts all the way over there. They're hopping on the Nautilus Explode low row. You should have the T-bar row from Panada. This is an old school piece, flex leverage. We have pretty much have the whole flex leverage line. Refurbished, that's the row. I love this row from Prime. It's our seated row. And you can control depth here, you control height. Um, it's a great row. Again, with all the Prime stuff, you can load it in three different positions. Extreme row, I like because I can't do bent rows or T-bar rows because of my herniated disc. So I'll use the extreme row because my chest is supported. Um, you got your... Some music's really loud. You got your uh, your chin and dip assisted at the feet from Cybex. Cybex is one of the only ones in free motion that make a dip that's assisted at the feet. So I'll show you. So instead of at the knees, So it's assisting at the feet, which is a lot more natural and a much better feel. This piece here from Watson is one of my favorites. You've seen me in my videos. I include this in almost every back workout. Full adjustability so you can move, move these all the way out, change, change the direction of pull. Um, isolateral, it's great for working the lats. Along with the Nautilus pullover, which is one of the best ways to hit the lower lats, warm them up without including any bicep. Um, so this is a great plate loaded Nautilus pullover. Got the Atlantis low row here, which is amazing. It's on swivel handles. We customized this one. I took the seat off. This is the old school hammer strength. I took the seat off because we like to sort of stand in it. Use our hand here supported and row. Usually has a seat so you're sitting in it. But I like to stand. Uh, Panada power row. Awesome piece. You got your typical hammer strength isolateral row. You got your hammer strength low row. You got your selectorized row from Atlantis which is great it's isolateral. Great swivel handles so you can change the direction of pull. I almost hurt myself very badly on that. <laughs> I have it on video. I recorded it. I almost lost my life. I almost lost my life on to one of these before. Um, okay, we missed the Pyro, favorite machine from Panada. Isolateral Pyro. I love holding the inside grip here. Hit that lower lat. I actually just did a post on Instagram with this one. Uh, your underhand hammer strength, classic. Most gyms have them. Another hammer strength, isolateral wide pull down. Um, and aside from that, over here we have our turf. We have a 50 foot turf here on this side. And then we have like all of our Smith machines. Again, more Cybex Smith machines here. So these are all the Cybex Smith machines. We got full power racks on this side, the other side's half racks. So over here we got the hammer strength, full power racks, uh, which is nice, nice feature. We do like rack deads and stuff. Because these ones go really low, if you look, a lot of power racks don't go all the way to the bottom now. So this one goes so low, so that if you want to do a low um, rack dead, you can. Over here is a little power lifting section, Olympic lifting. So people have their space here. This gets used a lot. So we have a pretty good little powerlifting community here. So just for them, and we got our assault bikes and all that sort of stuff. So I think the only thing left over here is just to show you guys is like the dumbbell area. So again, so again, tons of different attachments here. Watson, Prime, you know, the Epic Sports, this pull down is awesome. This cable pull down, tons of different attachments. Over here, we got the Life Fitness, cable station just different, different option right everything feels different so it's nice we got another functional trainer over here from Atlantis and then on this side we have UMAX dumbbells 
all the way up to 200 pounds. So these ones feel uh, a little bit different than the Intec. I like both of them. Both of them are my favorite dumbbells. They're great. Um, we have some different benches over here. The Arsenal Strength Utility Bench. Uh, there's some different options. This is an Atlantis bench. Um, what else do we got here? The Standing Preacher Curls from Life Fitness. They're great. And then Antoine just got these scents. I don't know what these things are. I saw Cody using them. I think when you rotate it, it's different weight distribution. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, so that is, this is the original side of Pure Muscle and Fitness. You know what, let's show you guys a posing room. Because we just sort of got that up and running. And again, there's still things that we're doing here at Pure Muscle. So it's like constantly evolving. So like I showed you guys, we're just finishing the shake bar area there. So it's continuing to evolve. And over here is a posing room, which is almost complete. So in this area here, we just created this. So it's full mirrors, full of the wall. And then back here, there's three different mirrors, which are like four foot length. So that way you can have multiple people in here posing and nobody's getting in each other's way. And you can see your full backside, I'm posing here. I can see my back, every angle. So this is cool. I think you can hold a good amount of people comfortably, probably like six people posing at the same time. So. Yeah, this is pretty awesome to have. I'm still gonna spice it up a little bit, but uh, yeah, really happy with how it turned out. Good sound system, dude. What's up? Who's this? That is what? I don't know, but it sounds yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's a massive speaker here. Yeah. Let's <laughs> go. Nice to see you, man. Good to see you. I remember meeting you a couple years ago, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm friends with Luke. Yes, uh, Luke Curry. Right. Yeah, 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 that's right. He's a good guy. I remember yeah, you guys were training at Fusion Fitness, right? Yeah, you remember that, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm from Kitchener, so yeah, yeah. I, I see Luke quite often. He's a good oh, guy. Man. Tell him I say hi. Thank you very yeah, much. It's been a while. You yeah. have a beautiful gym. Oh, I, thank I've been, you. Robin thank is you. one of the nicest men I've ever met oh, in my oh, life. Oh, so, <laughs> uh, so, so yeah, it, I think it's amazing you guys are working together. Oh, thank, thank, you, thank you for all you do. Are you preparing for Toronto? Uh, not for Toronto. I'm planning to be in a week. Okay, Kitchener. Are you going to be the Toronto as well? I probably not this no, year. Not no. this year. Oh, okay. Okay. There's monsters like you. I got to get to yeah. that level. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you compete next week. Thank you. Show you guys everything. I mean, there is a warehouse here as well for HC Muscle. Should we show them that? Yeah. Yeah, might as well. Cool. And then up top over there, the that's office. like up there, there's stairs. And at the very top, that's going to be like our offices for HC Muscle. So everyone works here on a daily basis. You can all hang out up there. We're going to make it pretty comfortable, pretty cool, like a chill area. So we have guests over. We all go to the top. It overlooks the whole gym. So that's pretty cool. All right, so here we are in the HC Muscle Warehouse and Pure Muscle Athletics. So we are really low on product right now because we're waiting for a purchase order. It's a bit of a mess right now. But yeah, here's all overstock for HC Muscle. This is just Canada fulfillment. Um, we also have a USA fulfillment side. So we've probably got Emerson and Jordan back here packing orders. What's up, guys? Yeah. How you doing? So this is where all the magic happens. All the magic. It's very magical back here. <laughs> so yeah, this is pretty awesome to have everything under one roof. And then on the other side over here, because I split it, is Pure Muscle Athletics. So this is all fitness equipment. Um, if we come over here. What do we got? What do we got? So yeah, there's stuff up in the rafters. Um, Jim Leco, which we distribute. So we got some of their stuff in stock, like the belt squat. Um, what else we got over here? Yeah, we got their, their leg press there. It's a bit of a mess right now. We also distribute flooring. So all this flooring here is all, uh, all for sale. Decor flooring. So yeah, I just want to show you guys the Jim Leco Smith machine. I was really impressed with this. We ordered for a customer, but basically there's no counterbalance. There's no cable. So it's basically a 45 pound bar with very good knurling grip diameter, and it's very heavy. So there's no assistance from a counterbalance. So if I drop this, it drops. So it's a pretty unique, cool feeling. Yeah, so it's great. And the price point on this is amazing. So if anyone's interested, reach out to us. 
Guys, that's pretty much everything to do with Pure Muscle and Fitness. When we finish the upstairs, I'll bring you guys up there, I'll show you that. I can't wait to finish the front area with all the couches and stuff. It's gonna be a really cool uh, you know, environment for people to hang out. Uh, but it's constantly evolving. Pure Muscle and Fitness is growing. We're thinking about possibly doing something in the USA um, next year. So city yeah, comment want. down below and let us know what city would you like to see a Pure Muscle and Fitness in? We have two spots that we're looking at right now in the USA. And uh, they are, I'll give you a hint, they are nicer weather and it would be really nice to leave Canada during those months and go there and uh, spend a couple months. <laughs> so we're really looking forward to that. This is our passion. We love, we love you know, bodybuilding. We love the industry. We love fitness. Um, so yeah, we're really enjoying it. I uh, can't thank you guys enough for all your support with HT Muscle. You know, because of you guys supporting the brands that we are behind is what allows us to keep growing, it allows us to keep putting out content and giving back as much as we possibly can. So thank you to you guys. Um, if there's anything you guys want to see, comment below. Make sure to subscribe. I notice there's a lot of people watching the videos and maybe not subscribing. So, and I always love hearing from you guys. I love seeing your comments. Um, I'm going to be doing lots of videos. You know, we are six weeks out tomorrow from my next competition. So I'm gonna be documenting all that prep again. Um, just looking to bring you guys some different content. So that's why today we did the gym. I did some stories like last week and everyone was like, oh, can you do a video? I wanna, I wanna refer back to it because the stories disappear. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Till next time.